Okay, so what we're going to do to start with is take a jumbo pencil from NYX. And this one is in the color, well, I don't know what the color, but it's green. I'll put it all on my blog for you. Just get it all over your lid. Don't bring it up too high, but smear it out with your finger so that you'll be able to blend everything easier. I'm going to take this MAC flat brush and this pigment from Glamour Doll Eyes, which you can buy online. Uh, I'll look for the website for you. And you pack it all over your lid on top of that NYX Jumbo Pencil. And then I'm just going to take this brush and just sort of blend it a little bit just to make the next blending step easier. But, um, oop, there's a little fallout. Yeah, pigments sometimes have a little fallout, but don't worry. I'm going to take this NYX um, single shadow and this is in dark brown one of my favorite colors and a fluffy brush and i'm just going to put it into the crease and this is going to just do like the windshield wiper motions and blending this brown and the green together take a big flat brush and a color like my skin and just fill up that extra area take that brown again and a smudger brush and this is going to actually go underneath the eyes now, if you don't like this much shadow under your eyes, you definitely don't need to. But I like it because I get circles, so I just enhance all that. But put it all up under the eyes. And then we're going to grab another NYX pencil. This one's in black, and I'm going to use that to fill in my waterline. And I'll take that brush again and just blend it so the black and the brown are seamless. We are going to put on, or we, I then put on some eyeliner some liquid eyeliner. I'm pretty sure I winged this out if I remember correctly. But, um, you know, to any way you want, you can do. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Next, we're going to put on some mascara. I always start with my bottom lashes first, and then I move up. And then I move up to the top, and then the eyes are done. Look at that. So, since I'm pregnant, I don't have a foundation that I like right now. My skin is really funky. So, I've been using this concealer. I think this is a Bare Minerals or Bare Essentials concealer. And I've just been kind of putting it on my face in little trouble spots. And right above my mouth, like right there, it's been getting really dark. It's not the cutest thing. So, I've just been popping some concealer on there. And then just using a powder. This is a Physician's Formula um, powdered foundation. And then I just take a big brush, it's a Berry Essentials brush, and I put it all over my face. And that just seems to be kind of helping out with my terrible pregnancy skin at the moment. <clears throat> but there you go. I've been taking this Bare Minerals, I think it's called Warmth. It's like the bronzer, it's a matte bronzer. You pour it into the lid, and you take the Bare Minerals fluffy brush, and you kind of like swirl, tap it, and then swipe it all over in an E shape on your face so you get that cheekbone region, your temple, and then underneath your jawline. And you just kind of put where the sun hits and then you look youthful again. Take a NYX blush. This one is in mauve and put that on your cheeks. Now this next step is my very, very favorite because it blends everything together. That was a nice face. <laughs> it's the mineral veil. I'm not really sure what's in it, but you just kind of put it all over your face and it blends everything seamlessly together. I bet this would be really good if you have oily skin because it would also soak up that good stuff. And for my lips, I'm just doing chapstick just because I'm fancy like that. So there are the eyes, you guys. A little slow motion for ya, but um... That is my makeup for the day. And who says you can't wear green daily and look fashionable? So my hair is all wet, as you can tell. So I'm going to go blow dry it and flat iron it. Boom. Magic of video. It's all flat ironed and uh, blow dried for you. So that is my makeup and my hair for the day. And now, since I'm wearing my PJs, I should probably go change my clothes. Okay, so I thought since I did like my makeup of the day and sort of hair of the day, I'd kind of show you my outfit for the day. And even though it's still cold in Oregon, um, like you guys know, I'm pregnant, so I don't like to wear pants very often because it hurts my stomach. So this is what I'm wearing today. Here we go. Hopefully you can 
see. I'll give you like a full view. It is a, let's see here. So I got this dress from Target not that long ago. It was super cheap. The only bad thing is, is I don't know if you can see, maybe if I can come down. It wrinkles super, super easy. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. It comes with this brown belt. If you can see, just like this. I have it with a little break, a little necklace that I got, and which that kind of matches my eyes, which I like. And then I got my favorite boots. They have no heels on them, but they're super comfortable. And got them from urbanog.com and they're super comfy. And I have really big, big calves and they still fit. So like, see there's like, there's still room in here. So if you have bigger calves and you can't find shoes like that, these would be really good for you. But, um, oh, let me see. And I'm probably gonna wear a coat which I have right here. Okay, so here it is like with the, I don't know, what's a better angle? Do you like this angle better? I don't know, you probably can't even see, but it's just like a leather jacket that I got from Nordstrom's and it was on sale, so, or pleather, it's not real leather. Um, it's from Nordstrom's and it was like $40, so I had to get it. But anyway, this is my outfit. I'm just gonna go and do some errands. And I'm going to go to Ulta, so I'll probably do a Ulta haul as well. So let me know if you guys like these outfit of days. Until next video.